Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Grammy's Story Time. Come up and sit on Grammy's quilt with me. Come on up, Ronan and Aurora. Come on up, Mark, Tiffany, Christian, Claire. Come on up. Raymond and Stacy, come on up. Good. I'm so glad you're all here today. This is wonderful. Hey, you want to go for a boat ride with me today? We're going to go first to, into New York City, and then we're going to get in a rowboat, and we're going to start rowing. And we're going to row maybe 60 to 80 days. Wow. Row. Row. Come on. Row. Come on. That's good. Great. But after 60 to 80 days, we're going to be tired. But when we get there, we're going to step out on a continent called Africa and specifically to Mozambique. And Mozambique, this was 25 or 30 years ago when we heard this story and probably 40 years before that. Mozambique was just a jungle and there was a village and the, the missionaries, the Christian missionaries, came there to tell the people about Jesus. And the person we're going to talk about today, whose name is O.C., was there. And he heard that for the first time, and he was 10 years old, he heard about Jesus and about Jesus um, dying for us on the cross and living our life for us and raising from the tomb. He was so excited. He ran home and told his parents and they came to the meetings the next night. Oh, they were excited, just as excited as O.C. was. So O.C. began to tell everyone and he had an idea. I think I'll go to my friend who's blind and lives out in the middle of the jungle and bring him to the meetings and let him hear a story of Jesus. So O.C. ran to the, through the forest and he told his friend, he said, I'm going to come back tonight and take you to this meeting with me. It's so amazing what Jesus has done for us. So the blind man said, great. So off O.C. went about four o'clock and he ran through the forest and he got his friend and they came back out and they went to the meetings. It lasted a little bit longer than O.C. had planned and it was dark. And so he brought his old flashlight, which was very low on battery power and he took his friend back through the forest. So he decided to shut that that flashlight off so that he would have only use it in a case of an emergency and he thought I am on God's mission but I want to ask God to help me be safe as I walk through the forest tonight and the jungle. So um, he said, dear God, please protect me as I go through the jungle. And there are so many wild creatures out here. Please protect me. And he said, amen. So he kept, he ran because he wanted to get through that area quickly. And all of a sudden, he felt himself step on something and he stepped on this item and all of a sudden he bumped it and he turned his flashlight on and it was a snake. Oh, not just any snake, it was a king cobra, a very poisonous snake and all of a sudden O.C. hears a voice say, turn, run, and O.C. did, and the snake 
did not bite him. That was a miracle because king cobras do not like to be touched or stepped on in any way. And this king cobra had his neck flared and was ready to bite. So O.C. was so thankful to God and he thanked God. He said, God, I so thank you that you protected me from that snake. And he realized that he was on God's mission and God protected him. It is what God does for us. And he was convinced that that was an angel, his angel, that told him to turn and run. O.C. was 10 at that time. And I know the story is true because I met O.C. I met him in Tucson about 30 years ago. And he told that story and told about God's protection over him. So let's remember, if we ask for God's protection and we're walking with Jesus, he will give it to us. Thank you so much for being such good listeners today. And let's pray. Father, I thank you so much for your protection. And every day, we have no idea how many times you protect us. Thank you for your angels and for those that give us protection from danger. And I pray that you will watch over each child today. And I ask that in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much for listening today and being great listeners. And I'll see you next Sabbath. Bye.